We're over here in the RX Muscle Studios in Westbury, New York, and we got Thomas Lenahan here, who's going to be in the 212 class, the New York Pro, and I got the master poser himself, Chris Cormier here. Chris, we were just super impressed with the way Thomas looked over there, so I wanted to go through a little posing with him. Maybe you can give him a little tips. Explain exactly some of the stuff. You know, a couple little tidbits he should keep in mind on stage about what will help him present himself better. I mean, he's got some of the best legs probably in the lineup. What would you like to see him do? Put him through ahead. his poses. Just go ahead and stand there. Okay, one, one thing you want to do is, uh, <clears throat> you know, understand, you know, you got guys that they have a lot of experience. So, uh, the, the audience is here, so you never want to pull back away from the audience. You want all your muscles to project toward the audience and toward the, the crowd. You want to keep this kind of solid. Yeah, there you go. Because that's going to be more impressive than just letting it just be it, it hang. You don't want it from the from the elbow to the wrist. You, you're creating this this visual of coming in here, but you can open your whole body up if from the just from the elbows down to the to the wrist is to give them that visual. Where everything flows down. You don't obscure your your body either. Yeah, exactly. Right, your hands. So, and then also, you know, as an amateurs, uh, a lot of people just pull up on their bodies in here. <clears throat> you get an experienced guy next to you and you're pulling up like that, from somewhere in the audience, you're not going to look so so solid in here. So I always like to try to, you know, as you get older and get more comfortable with your body, try to get yourself a little bit more detail going on, especially throughout the, the oblique and serratus. How do you do that, Chris? You're just going to have to contract more on the outer sides of your body, uh, outer sides of your abs, and just give them something more to look at than, like, you know, you're in great condition, so you want to get yourself the nice lines going through the body as you uh, just kind of blow out your air and kind of like get a little bit more attention on the outer side of the beaks, not just yeah, pushing down. Yeah, a lot of detail in huh? Yeah. So that, and then you got these great wheels, so you want to sit, you don't want your hips pressing toward the, the audience, you want to sit your hips back and, and create this and get these lines going. And that's going to, that right there, and just keeping in that most of the time, especially in the lineup, you're really getting judged. You want to keep these lines uh, prevalent, keep playing them up to the audience. You know, even if you're coming down with, with your fingers running through these cuts, you got a nice deep one through there, let them, like, always let them see it. Let them know, like, it's crazy. I'm detail, letting you guys right? know I got the best legs up here, and I'm going to keep showing you <laughs> why I should be number one. Exactly. That's nuts. Well, let's go through just front double biceps. Show them the front double bicep. What, what do you like to see him do in the front double bicep? Just kind of like... Hit the pose and then you critique it, how he's hitting it, Chris. Okay, so so right here, a lot of people get to cranking their wrist, their fist towards the audience. Just, this is a mistake, kind of, right? Yeah, but not, wait, 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 wait. So not not with the elbows itself, just just tighten up the bicep from the wrist. Yeah, there. Without pinching That keeps the biceps, there. right? Then one, one thing I like to teach a lot of guys is you got a front of a bicep. But there's triceps here also that you can contract and create a better definition through here. How do you do that? Just flexing your triceps up into the into the in, in, up into the uh, elbow. You feel that? Mm, yeah. And you see how to create it more cuts here. Interesting. And what does he do with his waist on this shot? Here um, depends on the physique. Obviously, is uh, would you blow down on his or would you lift up on his? Well. Getting ready for the show, I would really concentrate on my vacuum. Right. I would, I would like to vacuum on the front double, right. and that would be. But that, you know, lead up to the show, you got to really practice turning sure. your 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 stomach into your lower back, and that's a, that's going to create, you know, with time. So, would you like to if see you him do have, that? Work on that over the yeah, next. Work on having a really crazy <coughs> vacuum. If you don't have that, then you need to contract on the outer sides of the serratus. Like that. Yeah, bring a lot of detail, yeah. in, I see. Yeah, so I would work through here. I would do that. Interesting. And what would she do with those legs? Or just hit them. Does he have to do anything with them, really? Well, <coughs> make sure if you can get into. You come into. I don't know what side is stronger than you, but I would pick my stronger side to extend out. Uh, my and what does that strong. do? It just creates more detail. Yeah, more detail. I would lean on one hip, and then uh, and get the pressure coming from the, the ball of the foot all the way into that sartorius muscle. And really to get that display in, but your your weight's going to be on the foot. Yes, yeah. that's the one that you sit on that hip. Mm -hmm. There's going to be less weight here, 
where you can almost just get enough pressure from the ball of your foot up into the sartorius muscle there. Hit that double by. Yeah. Yeah. Looks good. It opens them up a little bit more. And you can do it through here and then hold the shit out of it. <laughs> 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 Words of wisdom from the master himself, Chris Cormier, man. Thank Thanks, man. You look great. Good luck on stage, man. Thank you. <laughs>